There's been rumours circulating now for weeks that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are headed for divorce. However, if that does happen, then could King Charles actually get full custody of the children, Princess Lilibet and Prince Archie? Well, make sure you subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more details in this Daily Nerd starting right now. up everyone is me steph the alter nerd your nerdy alternative and welcome to another dose of the daily nerd why break down the news and pop culture stories of the day that's pretty much caught me eye and oh my goodness before i jump into all the juicy juicy details with this video's main topic guys we've got a sponsor Roll the tip. Huge shout out to today's sponsor of this video, Atlas VPN. Do you want a VPN that's premium and not basic that gives you three months for free and protects you on the internet for as little as $1.83 per month? Well, of course you're going to say yes to all of that. However, you'll know what an Atlas is, but you might be asking yourself, what the deuce is a VPN? Well, a VPN is a shield that you need to have on your computer without fail whenever you're on the internet to protect yourself on your data from those pesky ads and evil malware. So if you're watching this right now and you don't have this type of protection, then you need to grab this mahoosive deal from Atlas VPN right now that's offering you a premium service for as little as $1.83 per month and three months for free. Try it now with a 30-day money-back guarantee and join over 6 million users worldwide who trust Atlas VPN to protect them. And thanks again to Atlas VPN for supporting this channel and our community. Really appreciate your faces, you guys. With that being said, <laughs> yep, let's jump into this, shall we? So, uh, there's been a lot of speculation recently about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle as to whether they're actually headed for divorce. A separate question that's actually kind of arisen out of that is actually what happens to the children, uh, Princess Lilibet and Prince Archie? Could child custody actually go to King Charles. Well, I found this uh, article from Alternative Family Law Solicitors. Uh, the website is alternativefamilylaw.co.uk. And here is a blog right here pretty much answering this particular question. So will Harry and Meghan have custody of their own children? So the blog starts off with, look, a story has made the rounds uh, that the Queen, or in this case, King Charles, has custody of her minor grandchildren and by implication, her great grandchildren instead of their parents. However, uh, this lawyer firm here from the UK is saying it appears to be total nonsense. Now, this all seems to rely on a blog post by an American royal journalist, Marlene Koenig, who in turn relies on an article in the Times from 1993 by Michael L. Nash. The story relies on a number of points. So there's five points in particular that this story relies on. So number one, there was a court case in 1717 concerning the king's prerogative in respect to the education and marriage of the royal family, uh, Hillary term for G01 1717. Now this was a law that was passed by judges in that year and a contention that this was reenacted in 1772. Now, the fact, number four, that Prince Charles and Princess Diana's divorce settlement did not deal with custody of their children is a major factor as to why this story took going around saying, well, you know, if Meghan Markle and Prince Harry divorced, then King Charles could get custody of the children is absolute nonsense, okay? Uh, an extrapolation from grandchildren to great-grandchildren, uh, which even Marlene Kinnegg denies to have made. So we're going to be taking these points in turn. Uh, but the person that writes this blog says that he uh, that they are a family lawyer, not a constitutional lawyer. So if he does get any constitutional points wrong, to let him know. So the 1717 case. Okay, so this is a case on whether the king has a royal prerogative in the area of custody of his grandchildren. The question to the court was, 
Quote, whether the education and the care of the persons of his majesty's grandchildren, now in England, and of Prince Frederick, eldest son of his royal highness, the Prince of Wales, when his majesty shall think fit to cause him to come into England and the ordering, ordering the place of their abode and appointing their governors, governesses, and other instructors, attendants and servants, and the care and appropriation of their marriages when grown up, do belong of right to his majesty as king of this realm or not. Basically, anything to do with our lives when it comes to education and love life and all that lot, yeah, king's got full control over is basically, as far as I'm concerned, what this passage is saying. Now, this was before the blog explains fathers and mothers had equal power over their children. A royal prerogative exists where there's no statute or other legal provision, i.e. there's a legal vacuum, okay? So then the royals just make it up as they go along with their own royal law until that legal vacuum is completely eradicated. The government contested it could use the royal prerogative to invoke Article 50 of the Treaty of the European Union to no give notice to leave the EU. But the courts held that because Parliament had legislated in this area, it needed parliamentary approval. No gap in law, no royal prerogative. So there is precedent for it. So if Parliament has legislated in the area of child custody since, and it has, and did not exempt the royal family, this trumps any royal prerogative the sovereign may have had in 1717. So in other words, the 1717 royal prerogative turns around and says that the king has full control over his grandchildren, right? When it comes to education, the love life, this, that, and the other. But the royal prerogative only stands if there's no legal law in place in the UK that covers such things. But since 1717, there is. So even though this royal prerogative, you know, is here, our legal law concerning child custody now trumps that. You see where I'm coming from, right? So the enactment, no law was passed by judges. Judges do not pass laws, they interpret them. That's what we do in the UK. Instead, it's parliament, our politicians that passes the laws and did not do so on this point back in 1717. Hence, it was a royal prerogative, right? And so we then go to the Royal Marriages Act of 1772. So the case report of the 1717 case refers to a preamble to the Royal Marriages Act of 1772. So it comes before it, right? Which stated that the kings of this realm have ever been entrusted with the care and appropriation of such marriages. So nothing was enacted, nothing, you know, was put in place about custody of minors at that point. The point made here is simply that the Act stated that the King had those powers anyway. However, now that Parliament has legislated these powers, the, you know, the Royal Prerogative no longer applies. And indeed, the Royal Marriages Act of 1772 was repealed by the Succession to the Crown Act of 2013. This does not revive the Royal Prerogative. The Royal Prerogative is dead in the water. Instead, this shows that once Parliament legislates in an area... There's no longer a royal prerogative, even when it comes to the royal family. So in other words, the royal prerogative is created because there's a legal vacuum. There's no law to cover it, so the royal prerogative is there instead. But once Parliament passes a law to essentially destroy that legal vacuum, then the royal prerogative is no more. It's extinct at that point because the law that Parliament passes overrules the royal prerogative all day long. So we then go on to Charles and Diana's divorce settlement. So by 1991, the Children Act of 1989, which doesn't exempt any royal prerogative, had come into force uh, and their concepts of custody no longer exist in English family law. Married parents have parental responsibility and retain that even when they divorce. Uh, there's been no need for any point apportionment of custody or other parental rights in a divorce settlement since then. And indeed, you cannot include it in the main financial settlement. Separate court proceedings are necessary if parents do not agree and the law now actively discourages parents parents from litigating so the fact that charles and diana's divorce settlement did not award custody to one of them is neither here nor there simple as right simple as and during king charles and princess diana's divorce settlement there was nothing that was put in place where it said right well there's this royal prerogative of 1771 therefore the children prince harry and prince william the custody actually transfers over to queen elizabeth ii that didn't happen, guys. That didn't happen. Now, looking at great-grandchildren, 
Uh, so even Marlene Koenig does not contend that the royal prerogative extends to the great-grandchildren. So even if it still existed as for Harry and Meghan's children, it is a non-story. So, yeah, this whole situation where, you know, people are questioning, well, hang on a minute, if Meghan Markle and Prince Harry divorce, could King Charles actually get custody of the children? No. There was a royal prerogative back in 1771 that indicated that, yes, it could have been at the time. But since then, the UK Parliament has actually created legal laws that trump, that overrule the royal prerogative. So if Prince Harry and Meghan Markle do divorce, King Charles has no claim whatsoever for custody of Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Instead, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are fighting amongst themselves at that point. Good luck to them both. With that being said, enough with my gob. It's now time for your gobs. If you appreciate this video and you want more, and believe me, whoo, there's going to be more. Do make sure you click on that subscribe button. I'm going to be honest with you. Help us get to 100k so we can get that silver play button right there. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories and whatever. Also as well, if you've got some strong opinions about the potential custody of Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, and I bet you do, then make sure you send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys. Laters.